even the dog is already tired. It is in the middle of the night. <laughs> Welcome back to another late night show here from the off grid garage in Australia. It's not sunny hot today. Rainy, cloudy. I made seven kilowatt hours or something only. Well, in today's video, we want to talk about this little guy here again, the Raspberry Pi running our Venus operation system, the Venus OS, which connects all our Victron gear to the Victron um, VRM, which is the virtual remote management VRM. Um, yeah. In a couple of weeks, months, it was last year. I made a video and showed you how I restart or how I shut down the Raspberry Pi because I had the problem that my little SD card, my micro SD card was corrupt and the Raspberry Pi wasn't working anymore. What I did in the past, I just disconnected the power supply of the Raspberry Pi. It shuts everything down and then you plug it back in and it restarts again. But the problem is if you do this too often it can corrupt your SD card and all your settings, all your installation, everything is gone. And this is exactly what I had. So I showed you my method how I safely shut down the Raspberry Pi. By rebooting it and then watching the LED lights here at the front and if they both turn off for a second I pull the cable of the power supply from the Raspberry Pi and it shuts off safely because this is the time when it basically restarts. And after this video, I received a ton of messages under the video and also via email. A lot of people have emailed me solutions to either add a physical button to the Raspberry Pi to shut it down or a software solution where you have to run a script on the Raspberry Pi, which then enables you to shut it down in a safe way. Now, I have tried a few of your suggestions and ideas and not all of them actually worked, but I found one from a viewer called Daniel from Germany. He sent me an email with instructions how to set this all up, which didn't work either, first of all, but we figured actually out what was wrong and could it get going. And I want to show you this solution because I think this is one of the easiest, cleanest and intelligent and I think it's a very nice solution because it includes a soft and a hardware button for the Raspberry Pi to shut it down safely. here. So if you haven't already, you need to enable the super user on Venus OS on your Raspberry Pi. This gives you full access to Venus OS via the SSH protocol. So we go into our menu, go on to settings and general. And you can see at the beginning when you install Venus OS, you are only the user and installer. And if you click on this feature, there is no super user available at all. What you need to do is you need to make sure to highlight the access level tab here, but don't click on it. Click on this button and hold the mouse button down for about five seconds. So just click on the right arrow here and hold the mouse button down for five seconds. And this will then enable the super user on your Venus OS. You also have to type a password. I use the password password, okay, and enable SSH on LAN to get access to your Venus OS. So this is all the pre-configuration you need to do on your Venus OS. While you are in the settings here, you also need to go to your either Ethernet or Wi-Fi connection to find out the IP address of your Raspberry Pi. If you don't know the IP address, you can find it right here. In my case, it's the 10.0.0.54. So we keep this in mind. So once we have activated SSH on LAN, we can see there's only a re reboot button down here. There's no other option. Venus OS doesn't give you the option to shut down your Raspberry Pi in a safe way. And this is what we are going to change now. So let's go back to our normal view. 
I have already installed a program called PuTTY. And this program will give you access to the remote console of your Raspberry Pi now. I put all this information, what you see here on the screen, on my website. The link is down below under the video. It has all the links to download PuTTY. It has all the commands and scripts and download parts. And you can easily follow this procedure to get this all done on your Raspberry Pi at home. So in PuTTY, we will type our IP address of our Raspberry Pi, which is the 10.0.0.5.4 in my case. We don't need to change anything else. We just click on open. We get this warning notification. We click on accept here. We want to log in as root. We hit enter and the password. This is the password we have set just in the console before. P-A-S-S-W-0-R-D. Enter. And we are in. We have root access to the Raspberry Pi now to the Venus OS. And now here in this text document, you've got all the commands you need to execute one after another in your PuTTY console now. And I'll walk you through this step by step. It is very easy. So here you want to highlight the first line completely until here. And we do a right click, we do a copy. We go into our SSH console and we do another right click, which is the paste command in the SSH console. See, I have now copied the first command here of my text document into my console. When I hit enter now, it will execute this. What this first step does, it is downloading a program called Setup Helper. And it downloads this Setup Helper application from a GitHub site from this user, K Windrem, and he is publishing other software applications for Venus OS as well. So down here, for example, you've got the generator connector, which enables a little box inside your VRM console. And he also provides access to temperature sensors and tank sensors, for example. And he also programmed this amazing shutdown procedure for us. So this setup helper is a function to simplify writing setup scripts that modify Venus OS. Then we go back into our SSH console here in PuTTY and press enter and it will download the setup helper package. Okay, so this is done. And we go to line number two here and do a copy again, go in here, do a right click to paste it. And this next step will actually download the shutdown monitor package for our Raspberry Pi. So we execute this one as well. It takes a moment to download and this is all done. And now the next command from our list here in the text document is just an rm command, which means it will remove a certain directory. And this only makes sure that you have the newest version of the setup shutdown monitor application or package on your Raspberry Pi. If you have this already installed, this command makes sure it will delete the old folder and replace it with a new one. So we execute this one here as well. This is done and we go to step number four, highlighting this line, copy, go in here, do a paste with the right mouse button again. And this command is an MV command, which means move. It only moves all the files from this directory into this directory. So we hit enter, line number five, do another paste. And here again, it does a move from one directory into another one. There we go. And the last line actually installs the shutdown monitor for us on the Raspberry Pi. So we do a paste here. Okay, so now this looks a little bit different now. Uh, this is actually running the installer now on your Raspberry Pi and this is where the magic happens now. It gives you several options, as you can see here. You can install and activate the shutdown monitor now by typing I enter. You can uninstall an existing installation already. You can quit without doing anything further. You can display the log file. 
And here's another option to display a log file. So obviously we want to install this all on our Raspberry Pi now. We click I enter. And this will this and this has now already installed the shutdown monitor. You could potentially see this in the background here that our remote display has turned off. Yeah. It is restarting not the Raspberry Pi but the display. So we just click here on reconnect and we are back online. So nothing seems to have changed now. But if we go back into the settings here and go into the settings down here, go into general. And here we can now see that we not only have a reboot button, which we had before, but we also have a shutdown button, right? There's a shutdown button. A function shutdown from within the software on the Raspberry Pi in Venus OS. So we click on this one here and this gives us now different options. We can just click on shutdown here and it will shut down the Raspberry Pi and we can safely disconnect it from the power without harming our operation system, without harming our SD card. But this version here has another option which is enable shutdown pin on Raspberry Pi. The only thing we need to do is we need to have a little push button on the Raspberry Pi which connects GPIO pin number 16 which is the physical pin number 36 of the Raspberry. This is the pin out of the Raspberry Pi and if we have a look at GPIO number 16 here this is pin number 36 and the only thing we need to do with a little switch connect this pin number 36 to ground to the pin next to it, to pin number 34. So 34 and 36 connect and the Raspberry will shut down if we enable this function here. I haven't enabled it yet because I've never seen this feature before. My shutdown monitor has only the soft button through the software, but it didn't give me this opportunity. So I need to upgrade my shutdown monitor script on my Raspberry Pi as well because I want to have this physical button as well. So what happens if we click on shutdown here and then we execute it and it says shutting down. There it says shutting down on the screen and we have a quick look at the Raspberry Pi here in the electric cabinet. We should see the yellow light flashing. There was the restart and this should stop in a second yellow light on, yellow light off, that's it. So the Raspberry Pi is now ready to be taken off the power supply. It is now shut down safely. There can be no corruption to the operation system anymore. Everything is shut down correctly. To restart, you just need to unplug the power supply and plug it back in and it will restart from your SD card. Isn't that amazing, guys? We've got a soft and a hardware button in one go installed on our Raspberry Pi. Only by executing these, one, two, three, only by executing these six commands on the Raspberry Pi. So I really like this solution the most, so that's why I wanted to show you how this all works out. If you have Venus OS running on your GX device or on your Raspberry Pi, uh, you can install this yourself by following the instructions, which I will link down below under the video. I will have all the information, all the downloads, all the scripts, all the commands ready on my website, as always, for you to execute at home. All right, guys, so far this video from today, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you get something out of it. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all your support. Thanks for all your generous donations here to the channel so I can calibrate more spats. <laughs> and until I catch you in the next video, guys, you stay charged. And thank you so much for watching again. See you then. Bye bye. <laughs> and of course, a special thanks to everyone who has sent me emails provided solutions, suggestions and ideas on how to shut down the Raspberry Pi. A special thank to Daniel for providing this perfect solution. Thank you very much again.